Okay, people, I'm back. If you've ever asked yourself how do you get rid of those, those uh, pesky nail holes after nailing down some baseboard or some quarter round, what you need to do, you go to the store, zoom out a little bit, go to the store, get you some uh, hole repair. So it's pretty much like a spackling compound. Um, All right, there we go. Hole repair, spackling compound by 3M. It's color changing, so what it's going to do, this is for the interior and exterior. So it goes on blue and it dries white. Um, typically, I get another type of material or another type of product that um, dries and when it dries, it's brown, but since the baseboard and quarter round is already painted and primed white. It's better to just go with something that's gonna dry the same color. That way you're not using, utilizing a whole lot of material to um, pretty much paint afterwards. Like if this dried blue or if it dried brown, then you're probably gonna have to apply a coat of primer and then another coat of paint. So get you something like this you go ahead and open it up there's this little portion over here you're just gonna bend that down like that and then you open it up go here set this camera down like that so go ahead, open it up. As you could see, the material or the spackling itself is blue. Get your straight edge, AKA razor blade. And what I normally do is I'll get a little bit of the material or the, I get the razor blade. Let's see if I can zoom out again. Let's see, it's as far out as I could go with this camera, but get your razor blade. You get a little bit on there, like so. And you just go ahead and wipe. You wipe straight over it. If you use your finger, Utilizing my finger is also good as well, but the only problem is I've had a lot better experience with utilizing a razor versus my finger because because your finger actually pushes it out. This allows the razor to pretty much stay flat, right? And you just slide it up against the baseboard. It's kind of hard to do with two. Well, one hand, but let me just let go of this camera real fast. I can show you guys. So get that, just wipe it. Just gonna fill it in, wherever it needs to fill in. And then you can rub, take your hand and rub across it and it's pretty much filled. You could also Take your finger, put a little bit on your finger, apply it over the spots where you put your nails in first to move a little bit quicker. So you apply it just like that, right over it. Just like this, over it. Just put a little bit on your finger. Right? And then you take the razor 
he wiped. And it's going to get all that excess off. Not too hard. And typically you want to go in the same pattern that you painted in. So, so I have these spots done and those spots right there done as well. And you just go around the entire room until it's all done. And don't leave it open. Don't leave this stuff open because it's gonna dry out. So you pretty much get what you need out of there and you'll go ahead and close it up. That's what I would suggest. So let's see here. Stab it on there. And you don't use caulk for this because you can't sand like most of the caulk out there. Um, if it's a little spot, it probably won't matter a great deal, but something like this, you definitely want to just go ahead and use this um, spackling that's going to dry white. So, as you can see, that spot is done. That spot is the shoe mold, along the shoe molding, is done as well. And that spot is done. And like I said before, you know, just get your razor blade and just go along the top of it like that. Some of it went over here, but it's fine. I paid for all of that, so I'm about to use that. Yes, sir. So go around the entire room, all your spots until you're done, and then um, you apply a coat of paint to those areas just to um, cover up those spots where you apply the color changing spackling or hole repair and that's pretty much it so get your color changing spackling or spackling in general and go ahead and apply it um they utilize color changing that way you could see where you actually where you are actually applying the material and making sure that you're filling the void before it dries right so if it went on if it was a white spackling then it would be hard to pretty much tell where you applied the material so that's all i have for today be sure to like comment subscribe um next video is more than likely going to be be applying the last coat of paint to the baseboard have to sand around the door uh, I'll sand the door framing. I ordered all of the wall plates, satin. They're white and they're gonna be satin. I don't want that extremely glossy, glossy white look because they look really cheap. Um, so yeah, I ordered all the wall plates. So all of these will be changed out. I have to find that one right there for the um, the internet, but not too worried about that and then i could go and buy two switches for the actual lights in here because they had it's a spot for three i'm assuming if they, well they had a fan in here so if you wanted to um have one switch for the to turn on and off the fan you could have that and you could have a switch just for the light, but they had a dimmer hooked up. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, I'm just gonna slide this one over. I'm gonna have two white ones. And then the, the third switch is not gonna have anything hooked up to it. That way I could utilize the same three switch um, hookup and just apply, I'll put the plate, push the plate over that, screw it down and be done. And then this office will pretty much be totally finished. I apply one coat of paint. 
along the inside of the window. Um, you know, around here, I didn't get extremely close to the edge because I wanted to tape all of that up or get a smaller brush to do that. And I have to do along the top portion here. But other than that, everything else is finished. These blinds are going to be removed and we're gonna end up, my wife probably gonna end up ordering some drapes or something like that. Um, so yeah, just be sure to like and subscribe and until next time, peace.